Hey Remarkable Lifers, this is Craig. Today I am in Puerto Vallarta and I am here by myself. KJ couldn't come, he had to start doing some projects that he's working on and so it's me. And I'm here to visit a friend who's also in town and we've done a couple of different things around town. We got to go on a taco tour last night and we got to, we're going to go to a cooking class and we're going to hang out and then I have some other friends here. So um, it's really interesting how the evolution of our lives with living in Mexico and I mean I just have friends they're just you know it's a half hour plane ride and I can just hop over and see my friends in another city and it's a beautiful place and I know I say that this is kind of gay mecca but there really is something for everyone here I mean there's just a influx of over the last 50 60 70 years of the gay community making this a safe haven a really a safe place where they can feel like they're the, we are ourselves so um, you might see a lot of that, but you're also going to see every day all types of people just out and about enjoying themselves in this beautiful place. So it's, a, it's welcoming to all. We are on a taco tour. People, we just had picadillo, dorado, so these fried tortillas with Picadillo, which is, um, this was like a pulled, pulled pork, or I'm sorry, pulled beef, and it had potatoes and different things in it. It was delicious. The one was just a potato filling. So it was absolutely delicious. That was round one, so we just had two tacos. Let's see how full I can get. Aguacate. Huh? Aguacate. No, it's no. Not. It's, 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 like, it's all jalapeno. All jalapeno. Oh, yeah. all jalapeno. Yeah, it's not spicy though. They take it out the seeds. I just tried it earlier. So okay. Now that next, one's gonna be nuclear. Next up, yeah, no, no, it's not bad. And this one, red tomatoes. It may, it has a nice smoky flavor because we have the chips, salt and peppers in here, and they garnish it with just a little bit of fresh avocado. And then last but not least is my reach. Is this one? Next quiz. What kind of tomatoes do we have here? All I ever see in Mexico really is Roma. Yeah. They look like Roma because it's red, but they're actually green tomatillos. So they do the green tomatillos with the red Thai chilies. Oh, or the green oh. chilies. Thai chili? Okay. Red tail chilies. Red tail chilies. Or cola de gata, chile de árbol. And so it, this one's the spicy. Okay? Gringa. It's un gringa. <laughs> so it is dark now and we are headed to um, the next place but that was delicious we had a green so we are walking between different places here in Puerto Vallarta and heading on a taco tour with Puerto Vallarta Eats it is wonderful we are getting to try many different types of tacos. One interesting thing, as you don't know, is that the tacos are different from day to night. 
there will be different types of tacos available. Um, and it's also sometimes difficult to get tacos during the day at all, middle of the day. Tacos are typically breakfast and late night. Here we go, next. So we are at Cardenas and Aguacate streets here in Puerto Vallarta. And there is a church right on the corner and it is called the Churro Church for a reason. Because there is a churro stand that is right outside of the front doors of the church. And they hold church services every day. So the lines are there, the smells are wafting in, and there's people singing hymns inside. So it's very, very interesting. But um, they are unaffiliated, they're not part of the church. Um, but if you need the Church of Santa Cruz in Puerto Vallarta, it's right on the corner here. And there's a churro place in it about 5 to 9 every night. So check it out. We're going to try these now. We're going to try this. So apparently we're playing Fear Factor with um, tacos, and I don't know if I want to do that. So we're about to try something that I think I know what it is, and I don't want to do it, but I'm going to eat it because I'm a good. I don't know what I'm eating. That's definitely brain. I don't know what it is, but we'll find out. So it was cheek, tongue, lips, and neck. So it was a combination of all of the facial parts of beef. Also learned a little trick. If they're covering the grill, then while and letting it steam, then basically it is the beef head or beef mouth, face, cheek, all of that. Because that's the way you cook it and it makes it more tender. I did not like the texture. It was very spongy, but it was delicious. <laughs> And what was the name of the cheese? Asaderos. And what's the name of the meat? The meat? Uh, adobada. Okay. It's a pork marinade and adobo sauce. Thank you. So it's similar to like a fresh door seasoning, so you have to like the different Perfect. Okay. So please, the last stop. We have a similar salsa that we just saw with the green tomatoes. Green tomato salsa. Okay. Yep. Medium spice. And chilies. Oh, Tai Chi, or Tai, tai Chili, I mean. Oh, and they have birria. Oh, real birria or beef birria? Beef birria, so it's not, it's not goat birria. Uh, that's the... You know. You can't get everything in certain hours. <laughs> <laughs> we can only do so much. So the concept behind the volcano is that they have the cheese is melting. Then you add the meat. Then you add the salsas and it's oozing over like a volcano. So that's how they do it. And they